like to go out camping and fishing with my dad. I think this calculator is the best I've ever had. If you play on my team, we can win, I guarantee. Oh, I love that I'm with Claire and she's with me. Come on, let's go. We're friends, we're friends. Two blue, blue, thick and thin. Friends, the best there's ever been. Friends, we'll always be best friends. We all agree. Wherever we go, we know we'll be friends. We're friends, we're friends. Welcome, welcome to my home. Sorry for barging in like this, but you see our boss. No problem. I'm glad you dropped in. Oh, get it? Dropped in? <laughs> Drop? Well, seriously, your arrival is an answer to my prayers. You were praying for an avalanche of kids on your floor? Well, kinda. I asked God to send me some new friends. Ever since Flopsy and Cottontail moved to the meadow, things have been a bit quiet around here. I don't know. Never heard of making friends with a rabbit before. Seems strange. Well, that's only because we haven't gotten acquainted yet. Let me introduce myself. My name is Peter Rabbit. I have a happy habit of hopping everywhere I go and telling everyone I know that Jesus lives inside me to love me and to with a happy song that keeps me hopping all day long. I can hardly keep from hopping, I'm so happy that you're here. I'm glad that you could 
drop in, I'm grinning ear to ear. I'll just jump for joy and say, hippity, hippity, hop, hooray! I hope you can stay and play all day! His name is Peter Rabbit. He has a happy habit of hopping everywhere he goes and telling everyone he knows that Jesus lives inside him to love him and to guide him. He fills his heart with a happy song that keeps him hopping all day long. Peter, we sure wish you'd teach us how you hop the way you do. It's easy when you're happy to hop the whole day through. When you praise the Lord, then he gives you joy, and suddenly you'll be hopping happily just like me. Peter, can we try it? Sure. Just think of something you're thankful for and praise God for it. Why, you'll be hopping in no time. I praise God for sunny days. And I praise God for flowers and trees. I praise God for Saturday. And I praise God for families. And I praise God for my new friends. Mr. Peter Rabbit, I'm pleased to meet you. My name is Claire. And I'm Philip. And I'm Susan. My pleasure, Susan. Oh, and who might this bright fellow be? <clears throat> and you are? Suffocating. There is insufficient oxygen and ventilation for such exuberant activity. Perhaps <sighs> if you used smaller words, you wouldn't need as much air. <laughs> hmm. The name is Matt. It is a bit stuffy in here, Matt. Why don't you open the window over there? It looks out into my garden. Ah, much better. Something very strange is happening here. Chill out. Now, see there, son. You act as if you'd never seen a vegetable garden before. I think the problem is he's never heard a vegetable garden oh, before. See, you know, no, if me. you hadn't started that silly giggling, he'd have hey, never known. That was the one that kept making faces mm -hmm. at me. I oh, couldn't no help it. No way, dudette. The curl dude was making that whistling noise through his nose. No, yes, yes, he was. Was. Hey, it was. All right, you guys. Simmer down! <gasps> Never say simmer to a vegetable! <laughs> really now, this arguing will give our new friends the wrong idea. Besides, the Bible says that a friend loves at all times. Why, we get along quite smashingly. Allies till the end. We're compadre! On that you can be. Matter of fact, we're growing closer together every day. Whether the weather is sunny or gray, we'll always be in cahoots. God, he's to our roots. We're growing closer every day. We're growing closer together every day. Closer together in every way. Since I was just a seed, I always figured that we'd be growing closer every day. Okay, guys, let's be totally honest. There was a time when you didn't get along at all. Oh, that's so true. It seems we've almost forgotten when things were really rotten. We were little sprouts on the outs. <laughs> when God saw our situation, needed lots of cultivation, he sent Peter hopping in to help the hurt. <laughs> Why, thank you. Now we veggies. <laughs> 
who never seem to give a hoot have found a friendship built on common ground. As gardens grow, whoa, we're the closest one I know. Just we're the roughest one around. All around. We're going closer together every day. Whether the weather is sunny or gray. This is the day that we saw it somehow. I've always known. Philip, I've been collecting books ever since I was a little hopper. God gave me a love for stories when my mother would read to me. God gave me a love for making pictures when my mom showed me how to paint flowers and trees. Some dance, some sing, some folks can do anything, but I love the gift God gave to and I know I'll always be Telling stories, I love telling stories If you'd like to lend an ear I've got lots you'll love to hear It's my very favorite thing to do It's a gift God gave to me to give to you So tell me, what kinds of stories do you like to hear? You'll love to hear It's my very favorite thing to do It's a gift God gave to me To give to you well, What about you, Susan? What kind of story would you like me to tell you? Tale of castles and of kings Golden gowns and royal rings A princess everybody would be friend No when I'm making harm For her knight in shining armor To hear. It's my very favorite thing to do. It's a gift God gave to me to give to you. Well, what about you, Matt? What kind of story can I tell you? I'd love to fly up high and watch the clouds go by. That's the kind of stuff I'd like to hear. Cause I really like to wonder far beyond the wild blue yonder as I zoom. Claire, what's your favorite thing in the world to hear about? It's always been my dream to be the hero of the team. Maybe make it in the baseball hall of fame. I'd lead the team in scoring and my friends will all be rolling as I hit the ball and the Telling stories, I love telling stories. If you'd like to lend an ear, I've got lots you love to hear. My very favorite thing to do It's a gift God gave to me to give to you Yes, sir! It's a gift God gave to me to give to you Ooh, how did you win this trophy, Peter? Oh, it's no big deal. It was for being the best hopper at the Meadowland picnic last summer. No big deal? Winning is always a big deal. When you're better than everyone else, you get the prize. That's why I love sports so much. 
Especially playing ball, I guess. <laughs> Claire's the best. You should have seen her throw this ball. We all like playing ball, right, Matt? Absolutely. Well, actually, I'm really just starting to learn. Claire's been teaching me how to throw and catch. Soon, maybe I'll be able to play on her team. I don't know, Matt. I like to win. I don't want anything messing up my chances. You know, all this talk about winning and being the best reminds me of a story. Would you like to hear it? Yeah! Okay, well, once upon a time, Oh, I love starting stories that way. Anyway, once upon a time, there were these very special friends. But they were always arguing about who was the best. So one day, they decided to settle the question once and for all with a race. No, now this wasn't just any old race. It was to be the biggest, greatest race of friends ever. Gentlemen, the most spectacular, extraordinary, and all around magnificent great race of friends around the world is about to begin! Yeah! A fun, fun day for a race, don't you think? Oh, sure! I just love watching people run in cycles! Oh, yes, the thrill of victory and the agony of. Hey, dudes! Huh? Let's do the way! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> On three. One, two, three! Yay! 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 Yeah. And now, allow me to introduce our contestants. In gate number one, the most rootinest, tootinest cowboy in the West, riding tall in the saddle, <laughs> Cowboy Philip! Yay! Yay! <laughs> in gate number two, the regal. The beautiful, Her Royal Highness, Princess Susan! Yay! In gate number three, the greatest baseball player in the whole world, Claire of the Hickory Woods All-Stars! Yay! In gate number four, the fastest jet pilot in the Air Force, Captain Matt! Yay! But certainly not least, the high jumpinest, slam dunkinest basketball player in the NBA, Peter Rabbit. Yay! Remember, this race will decide once and for all just who is the best friend. Are the contestants ready? Ready! On your marks, get set. <laughs> The great race of friends was underway. Soon they left the desert far behind them as they headed out to sea. Racing, racing over the ocean hot enough to pop out here. Hey dudes, I think it's most appropriate to once again do the wave. Okay, like one, two, three. Hey. And so the great race of friends had taken them halfway around the world. After crossing the ocean, they headed for the frozen North Pole. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle last we go. Racing through the ice and snow, it feels like down below. Jingle bells, jingle bells, no time to delay. As the frozen flurries fly, we'll hurry on our way. This is ridiculous. I am a cabbage, not an iceberg lettuce. I just know I'm catching a cold. Oh, 
dudes. Just chill out. If he says chill out just one more time, I'll... 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 <laughs> <laughs> Bidding a fond farewell to the frozen north, our friends make their way into the deepest, darkest jungles of Africa. Nearly over, the contestants scramble for the finish line. Then, All Star Claire poured on a burst of speed. All right! This will prove once and for all just who's best. Yahoo! I'm winning! I'm winning! I'm winning! <laughs> Unfortunately, Claire forgot about the Grand Canyon. I'm winning! I'm winning! I'm winning! I'm winning! I'm winning! I'm winning! I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. As the other contestants were racing along toward the finish line, Claire suddenly found herself stranded at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Oh no, somebody else is going to win! Just then, Cowboy Philip Whoa. came riding up. <laughs> well, howdy, ma'am. Cowboy Philip, can you help me? I've fallen and I can't get out. Tough break, ma'am. Powerful sorry I can help you, but I got some doggies to round up. Adios, ma'am. Giddy up. But, but. Next, Princess Susan came along. Yoo hoo. Princess Susan, I've fallen and I can't get out. Can you help me? Oh, dear me. Why, I'm a princess. I've no time for such things. There are knights tonight, affairs at the court, and of course the royal ball. Oh, I'm sorry, Claire. I'm just too busy. Besides, you don't need my help. You're the best. You can do it, Claire. Well, gotta go. Ta-ta. But, but... Oh, please, God. Send somebody to help me. Hello! Hello down there! Hi, Claire! Peter! I've fallen, and I can't get out! What's wrong, Peter? Claire's fallen, and she can't get out. Hi, Matt. Wow! Looks like Claire could use our help. Let's go. Okay. One, two, three! Thanks. I don't know what I'd done if you hadn't come along, but you gave up your chance to win. Well, we couldn't just leave you here. You needed our help. That's right, Matt. Winning is really fun to do, but it's even more important to please God by helping others. A true friend helps their friends, or they're really not friends. Right, Claire? I highly recommend being your best at being a friend. It's the best kind of best that you can be. A beginner can be a winner. It's the way God meant for you and me. So take the time to spend being your best at being a friend. You'll always win on that you can depend. Take the time to care. You'll have happiness to spare when you're being your best at being a friend. You're always a winner when you lend a helping hand. I highly recommend being your best at being a friend. It's the best kind of best that you can be. A beginner can be a winner. It's the way God meant for you and me. So take the time to 
you spend Being your best at being a friend You'll always win on that you can depend Take the time to care You'll have happiness to spare When you're being your best at being a friend Peter, how do I know what to do? Just do one to others As you would have them do to you for us to finish this race. Together. Everybody on three. One, two, three! And so our friends were off and hopping again. Meanwhile, back at the finish line, the crowd was on the edge of their seats with excitement. I said, the crowd was on the edge of their seats with excitement. Shine of them. Wait, here they come! Well, who won? The race around the world has come to an end. Now it's time to determine who is the best friend. The prize goes to Matt. Cause he took time to care And gave up his place in the race to help plan Wow! So take the time to spend Being your best at being a friend You'll always win on that you can depend Take the time to care You'll have happiness to spare When you're being your best at being a friend From that time on, they understood that it doesn't really matter who is the best. What matters is helping your friends. Wow, that was a great story, Peter. It's like the Bible story about the Good Samaritan who helped somebody no one else would. Matt, I haven't been a very good friend to you today. I'm sorry. You can be on my team anytime. Well, wiggle my ears. That's very nice, Claire. Jesus wants us to be good friends to each other. Because that's how we show others how Jesus loves us. I guess we should hop along now. <laughs> Peter, can we come back and visit you again sometime? Why, sure! You're welcome here anytime! Come on, Matt. We've still 
still got time for more practice. Sounds great to me. Bye, Peter. So, so long. Goodbye. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs> <laughs>